Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your intimate tarot reading, where I read sexual energy. Because reading sexual energy is very important in the sense that it adds an extra layer to our relationships. How we express our emotionality. Okay. And I'm trying to figure something out here. Sorry. I almost got my cards mixed up for some reason. Anyhow, we are going to go ahead and dig in. Show me the sexual energy, please, for Scorpio. Show me the sexual energy for Scorpio. That's sexual energy for Scorpio. Show me the sexual energy for Scorpio. Show me the recent past, please, and their sexual energy. Reason pass with her sexual energy. Show me that reason past. Ooh, you're opening up with a chariot. I like it. That is the vehicle that transports our heart space towards somebody else, the expansion. Honey, to have the chariot. Cancerian energy, by the way. That is an explosion. That is your your emotionality. Your water is directly connected to your fire. So when you engage with somebody else on a sexual level, it's more than the passion it's more than just getting off. Your heart is tied to it. Show me the current energy. Show me the current energy. Show me the current. Cards are a little bit resistant. There we go. Four of Wands. There's a sense of stability, a sense of confidence here in your sexual energy. This is showing me you're very stable. You know what you like. You're confident. Very good. And what's crossing is the tower. Huh. You're crossing your own card. Tower is Aries and Scorpio energy. <clears throat> That's explosive energy. Very explosive. So, that's interesting. Honey, <clears throat> When someone lights you up, they light you up. Absolutely. Wow. When somebody lights you up, your energy just totally, it totally explodes. There's somebody lighting you up right now. Somebody's lighting you up. It's almost like, like the Four of Wands is a more calmer energy. So there is some contradiction here. The Four of Wands is everything steady, everything secure. It's a calm type energy. Then here comes the tower, total explosion. I can't wait to clarify those ones. Okay, who's surrounding? Two of Cups. So... There is a level of a relationship here. It's to, uh, when two of cups shows up, I'm not convinced of commitment. But typically, you need to be very secure with your person before you commit anyhow, before you usually interact on a sexual level. <clears throat> so the person surrounding you 
attaches emotions as well to their sexuality. They're, um, it's like the person you connect to, they have to feel the water. They have to feel something for you. But the Two of Cups is like, they feel it. They're, whoever you're connecting to needs to feel like they're in some kind of union with you. Okay. How are, what's their sexual energy towards Scorpio? Five of Wands. Okay, so there may be a little, they may be a little bit of combativeness here with them. Just saying, there seems to be some tension. There seems to be some tension in their sexual energy towards you. I don't understand why, because you're showing very explosive energy. They're showing an energy of, I need to feel like I'm in a union. I need to feel... That love, that deep connection. <clears throat> but their energy towards you is a lot of strain, a lot of resistance. I'm not sure what that is. We will find out when we break it down. Okay, show me Scorpio's strengths, please. Show me Scorpio's strengths. Show me Scorpio's strengths. I almost feel like maybe you're trying to... Contain your energy. I don't know. Let me see. Show me Scorpio's strengths. You've got the two of swords. Are you kidding me? I'm calling bullshit on this. You're confused about your sexual energy. I almost want to pick that card up and say, let's try this again. You're bullshitting me. You're bullshitting me. We are going. Now, come on. What are your strengths, Scorpio? Tell me what your strengths are. That's bullshit. You're not confused. Your strengths are blocking and confusion? No. What are your sexual strengths? What are your sexual strengths? The stars. That's more like it. You're the star of the show. That's more like it. That's what we're talking about. Okay? Absolutely. You reach for the stars. That explosion. That utopia type feeling. That feel good. You know, it's... You reach for the stars. You look for... You have the ability to make somebody feel like that they are in heaven when they are connecting to you in a sexual manner. Okay, what is Scorpio's weaknesses or what's their blockages? Eight of chalices. Emotional disconnection. Okay, now that two of swords kind of makes sense. The challenge here is an emotional disconnect, which makes sense with this person's energy over here. That stress. They feel the stress. They feel the strain. That makes total sense. There's an emotional disconnect between you and whoever you're connecting with. Okay, what is the outcome here? Show me the outcome. Possible outcome, please. Show me the possible outcome. Show me the possible outcome. Show me the possible outcome. Judgment. That doesn't tell me a lot, but that's more scorpionic energy as well. Fixed sign energy. Judgment, a decision. For some, yes, because there is this emotional disconnect that could, I'm saying could, indicate reconciling your sexual energy with this person. And in the sexual sense, reconciling the fire and the water. Because there's that emotional disconnect, which, disconnect, which is causing a strain in the sexual energy between the two of you. 
Okay. Underlining. Ace of Pentacles, an opportunity. There's some newness here. Eight of Cups could be, you know, a new opportunity that you are possibly walking away towards or somebody's walking away towards another option. <coughs> I do not know until I do the breakdown here. Sorry, I need a drink of my go juice. Okay. Let's see what's going on here with Scorpio. Okay. There are a couple of decks that drew my eye, but this one's kind of saying me. Choose me. Okay. In the recent past, show me this chariot energy. Because in the recent past, it was all it was all green lights. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Show me this chariot energy, please. Show me this chariot energy. Show me this chariot energy. It's just something there that you go, 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 and then there's the emotional disconnect. As I said, the chariot is the vehicle of the emotions. What do we have? Ace of Cups, Empress. Oh, and the Devil. Okay. Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, Ace of Cups. Being bound, were you bound to somebody? This is being bound. Heart space being bound to somebody and very important. Now this could be this person or this could be somebody else. I do not know. But your past is suggesting Now, for some, sometimes the devil in sexual readings can be positive, as in a little, quote-unquote, devilish orneriness, bondage. If you're into that kind of sexual activity in the bedroom, handcuffs, etc., yes, that could be indicating that. But with the Ace of Cups and the Empress here, it, to me, it feels like some kind of bind that there is somebody, somebody who is important to you, Scorpio, that still, that you still hold a candle for, you still hold something in your heart space, but there is some kind of obsessive, negative aspect there. I, I have to, I have to go with my vibes. I was trying to see if that could have been just simply a um, certain sexual activity, like bondage, but that's not what I'm getting here, especially with the chariot. The chariot is the heart space that's moved forward. That's This could be, in the recent past, trying to free yourself from being bound to somebody that was very important to you. This can also be freeing yourself up and recognizing what you have to bring to the table. Okay. And it's kind of like, are you with me? Or are you not? Are you jumping on board? Or are you not? Because I am, I know what I want. I know where I am going is what I'm picking up from you. Now, let's go ahead and let's look at this four of wands energy. Show me the four of wands. Nine of Cups, Page of Cups. This is you expressing what it is that you like. You're not afraid to express what it is that you like and what you expect. This is you're, you're, This is you telling somebody. Uh, you're very much not afraid to express yourself. You're telling somebody, this is what I want. This is what makes me happy, what makes me fulfilled, what satisfies me, okay? It's interesting. You're trying to bring, it's almost like you're trying to bring a sense of balance into your relationship between your water and your fire. There has to be a balance there or else you cannot engage. That is one thing about Scorpios. If there's no balance there, you have to be anchored. 
And that's kind of what the Four of Wands is suggesting, being anchored. You need to be anchored in order to express yourself of your desires, of your wants, and being able to have that explosive sexual energy that you are noted for. You have to be anchored, though, on an emotional level. <clears throat> okay, what is this tower energy? The tower that is causing you is something sudden, unexpected. It could be an unexpected affair, unexpected news, or just unexpe yeah, unexpected connection here. Sometimes it can literally mean <clears throat> that orgasm, that explosive orgasm that takes you by surprise. Like, wow, I didn't know I could get off that, that well, or that fast, or that hard, you know? It's... It could be any of those. Let's see what this is. Show me the tower. Show me the tower. Scorpio. I don't like this. Three of Pentacles. I do not like the Three of Pentacles in love and sexual energy. Okay. However, let me explain. The Three of Pentacles is the beginning of the workable energy in the real world. It is the friend zone, yes. That's the starting point. You don't start off somewhere in love instantly. I should say, not typically. This is the foundation of building a friendship and a relationship that can springboard you into something greater. Or you could try to spring off of that and you just flop it. It just does not go anywhere. So, for some of you, this could be a friendship that takes you by surprise. But I need another card to see what this is. Show me. Show me this Three of Pentacles. There we go. Got to, you both are echoing the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups to me is a love connection. It is a love of... Oh, interesting. Reco you got the judgment, um, judgment card again. Pay attention to doubles. When there's doubles in sexual energy or in relationships, it's usually meaning that it's felt by both. So you both got the two of cups, you both and there's judgment here for potential outcome. This is a reconnection. Something is springboarding, and I'm saying it's gonna springboard you from the basic friendship. And this is somebody that you know. This is not somebody new. With the judgment here. The judgment is making the choice to take that friendship to the next level. There seems to be something established here. Judgment can also, both of you, this is, I definitely get the energy of a reconnect. Whether you were emotionally or sexually involved with this person in the past, I do not know, nor do I care. I just know that this is somebody that you're comfortable with. This is, there's somebody here that represents the stability that represents the two of cups a connection a partnership a union okay i'm really concerned about this five of wands here though why are they frustrated they're frustrated somehow okay now we're going to get into their energy Show me Scorpio's person. Show me his surrounding. This Two of Cups energy. Show me this Two of Cups energy, please. Show me this Two of Cups. Show me this Two of Cups. Thank you. Two of Swords. They're confused in their sexual energy and it's causing a strain. They're causing the confusion. 
they're confused about what they want in a relationship and what they want from you. Aha, uh -huh. so now I get it. I get it. I totally get it. They may be confused about what you want. But up here, I think you're being clear to them. You're trying to communicate what you expect. They feel that, that this connection is strained. Okay. Why do they feel that it's strained? Why do they feel it's strained, please? Why do they feel it's strained? Five of Wands again. Stressed. Resistance. There might... The, I said that there's history with there. You're trying to maybe reconcile your energies together. But... Maybe there's verbal arguments. Maybe you're not, they feel like you guys are not getting along. And there's that, remember that emotional disconnect here. Remember that. There is a definite strain in their energy. Okay, show me this five of wands over here. Four of Pentacles and Five of Pentacles. So their energy towards you is kind of very it's it's coming across as cold. Resistant blockages. <clears throat> Scorpio, let me know if you're separated from this person right now, because that's what the vibe I'm getting. The past shows is vibrant, but there may have been tension because the devil card is right there. Maybe a little bit of obsessiveness. Bonding, bondage, being bonded by your heart. But then there's this disconnect here. Let me know. Because <clears throat> I feel that there was a major strain in the sexual energy between the two of you. Okay. Their energy towards you is breakage. Like there's not jack shit going on. Withholding. It's like somebody's playing the withholding game. I'm withholding. I am not going to give up my... But uh, uh, They could go use their hand. They could go take care of themselves. I am not doing it. And there's a break it Because there's a breakage here. There's, there's something here. They're definitely strained with the sexual energy with you. Because there's some kind of breakage. There's even... And when I say breakage, I'm also speaking in terms of you could be in the same household, but separate bedrooms or separate sides of the bed, not cuddling, no connection. There is some, there's a block here that is, could be leading to a break here. I got to be honest. I got to be honest. Underlining is the lover's card. It's many layers to the relationship. It can indicate a soul bond, but with many layers, many faucets to a deep relationship. Also makes it more complicated. So I'm getting this is a very complicated connection with this person. There could be a choice, a decision that you have to make. Judgment could be the final judgment call. What are we going to do about this situation? A decision. Because you've got your energy starting out was gorgeous. Okay. Now, if you remember, we did have the two of swords right here. And I said, no, that I'm calling bullshit. You are not confused about your sexual energy. You may be confused about theirs. But you're not confused about your own. That's why I put that card back. And I pulled one that is more suited to your energy. That And this, this, is, this is so you. Okay? But there is that disconnect. What are we going to do about it? There's a recognition we can't keep doing what we're doing. It's on their side. You got it twice. You both recognize that there has to be a decision that needs to be made in this. Something has to change or we break. That's what I'm getting. This is why sexual energy is a big part of our relationships 
and work side by side with our water, with our emotions. Because when the emotionality is gone and there's a disconnect, <clears throat> especially with Scorpios, the fire's not lit. You, 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 you put a lid on that fire, they, the other person feels it, or it could be switched. You know, a relationship without both the fire and the water is not sustain sustainable. You know it. They know it. I think the passion was there. But there's something here. I Comment below what the fuck is going on. Because I'm not, honestly, I'm not seeing what the real issue, core issue is. It may go back and further than just recent past. Okay, and I'm not reading months ago. I'm reading recent past. And there's something back here beyond this that's, that launched this. And that springboard effect here. Are there more than two people here? Are there, when I say more than two people, more than you and them, is there a third person involved? I just saw this. Is there a third person, Scorpio? Just asking. Because that might be the core issue. There might be a third person. Because the energy is showing a friendship being springboarded into something else with that tower energy. A sudden connection that was not expected. And you know that you have to make a decision. Overall is a decision. What am I going to... Okay, that makes sense. Why? No, okay. Now why the two of swords may have shown up here. But it shouldn't have been because your overall sexual energy is very strong. Two of Swords, I was expecting an emotional situation of being, you know, blocking your emotions, not sure what you want to do, not wait, wanting to make a decision right now. Somebody enter your life, Scorpio, that just kind of, your passion just went whoosh, off the charts towards them. But they're not the main focus here because there's another connection right here. They're feeling the strain, they're feeling the breakage, they're, yeah, because they are confused about what's going on with you, Two of Swords there. There's, their energy is very confused and conflicted, uncertain. And strained. They're, so, they're coming up with all this burdens and this strain and confusion around their sexual energy. And they're feeling like they're left out in the cold. Their energy... How they feel sexually towards you is out in the cold, breakage, blockages, again, confliction. Got the lover's card under the deck again. Just saying. Difficult connection here. Uh, <clears throat> okay, let's move on here. Show me Scorpio's strength here. Show me Scorpio strengths. Show me Scorpio strengths. You keep them under the moon. You don't you do not express your strengths. Your strengths of being able to plant seeds, your strengths to make something grow, your sexual energy grow and expand, but you're hiding it under the moon. Very mysterious. You do not show your strengths to this person. Why? Why is it under the moon? Why are they keeping this under the There is, you've got, there are, this is third party. 
This is definitely third party energy here. You're hiding a new beginning under the moon because of an established connection of family. Okay, that's what this is. And this is your strengths. You're able to hide shit very well. You're able to contain your sexual energy very well. You reach for what you want and what you wish for. You're very confident in knowing what you want, what your desires are. And you're also very much able to keep them hidden and not express them. You're expressing this to somebody. I don't know who. But I'm willing to guess you're telling somebody what your hopes, wishes, and dreams, what your desires, what you like is not this person. There's somebody else. Don't shoot the messenger, Scorpio. I gotta tell it like it is. There is somebody who has lit your passion, that lit you up like fire, like a firecracker here. You know, total explosion. You did not expect this tower energy. Caught you by surprise. And there is just this major explosion between the two of you. But the problem is this. The challenge is emotionally disconnecting. I think you have an emotional attachment to this other person. There might be passion. There's passion with one, water with the other. Because... The water has not had a chance to really expand itself and springboard because of another connection. Your sexual energy is very complicated, but it's not directed towards this person over here. It's somebody else. And the reason why their, their energy towards you and, their, and they weren't the people that wasn't who was the subject of this reading over here is because you're keeping them under the men. Okay. Makes total sense. Show me this Eight of Cups and the challenges. Now you got two, there's two indications of breakages here. In your challenges and in their energy of breakage. A separation. Show me this Eight of Cups. They may be blinded by what's really going on behind the scenes. Now, Scorpio, if you're offended by this reading, this is this is not your reading. Okay? Switch it, reverse it where applicable. Uh, okay. Okay, we got Queen of Swords and Magician. Okay, somebody is trying to take... Somebody's... It is difficult to take action... This is definitely somebody who's grown very cold at heart. Scorpio. Who's cold? You or them? Very. Straight to the point. Emotional disconnection. It's, this is screaming with emotional disconnection. And the actions go accordingly to your water. That you are not feeling. You are having trouble sexually engaging with this person over here. Because the emotionality. You're keeping it under wraps. You're emotionally disconnected from this person. Because there's somebody else. Lighten up your fire. That you did not expect. You're keeping them under the moon for the sake of the family. It's almost like you sacrificing for the sake of the family. The family unit. It's like on the surface, things are cool, happy, go lucky. But when you dig it down deep, there's definitely emotional disconnect. Try and, and you're having a you are having trouble making that decision to pull away in the physical sense. To actually take an action. And actually, you're, I mean, you're already emotionally disconnected. Emotionally walked away from this. Okay. 
That is what the biggest challenge is here. And that's what made you susceptible to somebody else coming and catching your attention. I'm seeing a lot more here now in the history. And this is pretty recent where somebody's caught your attention, Scorpio. Pretty recent. And it's causing a conflict. But there is something that goes much deeper, much further back between you and whoever you are in a committed relationship with. And I do feel that there is a commitment here. There's a commitment and then there's something else. There's a third party. For whatever reason, there is emotional disconnect between you and this person, causing a, sex, a sexual strain. With those two, that's a perfect recipe for breakage, for endings. Okay, so there is, there are endings, more uh, markings of endings in here. In here. But there's also markings of beginnings. You've got two aces here. Two aces is fresh energy. It's not renewal. To me, judgment card in this instance is not a renewal. It's a decision. A decision that needs to be made. Okay. Show me this judgment card, please. Show me judgment. Show me judgment. Show me judgment. Show me judgment. Queen of Cups. That is a... You are making an, an emotional decision here. How so? So you may... Be, <clears throat> some of you may be... Deciding to make a commitment to try to... Stick in a, an established commitment. Others of you may be committed to self-care and committed to your own heart space. But there is a decision. Oh, a decision. You're making an, emo an emotional decision in regards to a commitment. I said there was commitment energy here. It's very strong. Could be a marriage. Doesn't have to be. Could be simply living together. I do not know, but you've got this energy here of an emotional decision regarding. What is this decision? Let's see. Let's get nosy. What is this decision? What is this decision? King of Cups. King of Queen. Going with your heart. You're making a decision to go with your heart and being committed to it. Motions under control. Now, this could be, you might be, you might be trying to balance up with the person that you are with. Trying to move on, move past a transition. So there is transitionary energy here. Now, whether this is transitioning away from the commitment into a new one, or trying to balance up, balance things out with somebody. Okay, be interesting to see how this goes, Scorpio. I'd be curious when the next time I do Intimate Tarot, what's going to happen? Let's see. I hope maybe next time this energy will change. And maybe I won't see the third party. I do not know. Or maybe I'll see you in a third party and this person's gone. We will see. Because they're not being spe real specific with who you're leveling up with. But the King and Queen of Wands, a true pair, a true match in a, in a commitment relationship. Now that commitment, I'm seeing a lot of newness here. Let me pull out another deck. 
I want to know if this is new or old commitment. I'm not convinced. I want to say that you are leveling up. Okay? That you are balancing things out with somebody. Coming to an agreement of some sort. Try, I want to say you're trying to work things out with the person that's over here. But I'm not 100% convinced. Three of Wands, your expectations. How so? What are you expecting? What's Scorpio expecting? You're waiting or expecting on, so on something. What are you expecting? Three of Cups. Three. No. Celebrating. Tell me more. King of Pentacles and the Hermit. Oh, I get it. This I don't think this is a marriage. I do not. I think you're expecting marriage. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn does not have to be. Seven of Wands, defending your position. Okay. What I think this is, I think there's a bartering going on. They're showing me bartering and negotiations here. It's either marry me or I'm walking away. That's what I get. Because you are expecting a celebration. You know, transition, change. You're expecting a celebration. You're expecting whoever you're connecting with to come out of hermitcy. Being blocked, being cold, left out in the cold, breakage, breaking away from you. Their, energy, their sexual energy is breaking away from you. Okay? You are expecting them to come out of this. You're expecting a celebration. Threes are communications. Okay? Um, you are communicating with them. You are expressing what you want. Aha! Uh -huh. This is... You want our sexual energy to resume. You want, you want that fire to come back. Honey... Well, guess what? On an emotional level, this is what I need to make that happen. I think you are telling them exactly what it is that you want that would ignite that fire between the two of you again. And you, you want to move this relationship further. And if they are not willing to, you are willing to break because and go with new because we had a couple aces here. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. That is the recipe for brand spanking new relationship. Not old. So, what I'm getting here is, Scorpio, you are not afraid to start over. If they do not want to meet you at halfway if they do not want to do the work to meet you where you know you guys need to meet you're not afraid to break now i understand what this is this is why i use multiple decks more cards that's why especially my specialized readings like intimate tarot career tarot they can be longer videos because of this my weeklies, I try to cut down a little bit, make them shorter, bite size. But this is deep shit. We have to understand ourselves, our sexuality, you know, to understand what draws us sexually, what makes us get hot pants for somebody that, you know, that heat is turned up. 
in a certain connection with somebody, what is it? And how does it make us feel the cup's energy emotionally when we connect to this person? That's all important aspects to our relationships. If they work or if they five of pentacles break. Okay. That's why intimate tarot is so important. And I see somebody here. Now, I kind of see, Scorpio, you feel stuck. You feel plateaued. I don't need the Seven of Pentacles to tell me that. You feel stuck like things are not moving forward. You try to push for that, you get resistance. You tell this person exactly, <clears throat> you're telling this person exactly what you want and what you expect. What do you expect? What have you expected all along? You've wanted a celebration here. We've got Hierophant energy. You've wanted a higher level of commitment. More like, let's tie the knot. You're dealing with a man who's comfortable. He may have money. He's established. You're dealing with somebody who is financially established, physically established, physically grounded. But who tends to be in hermit mode. He's always thinking, thinking, thinking. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. We will see. I'm thinking. Perpetually thinking, thinking, thinking. And you're saying, wait, I have been expecting and waiting on this. It's now or never. And what puts you in this position is there is a third party that has sparked your interest. I am not say saying sure that you've engaged with that third party but there's an interest there there's somebody who has pinged your radar outside of this commitment that you are in somebody else has pinged your radar so you're turning up the heat the fire to get somebody else here motivated to tear down those blocks Let's move this connection forward. Otherwise, you don't have a problem with cutting your ties and going with the new. You have an option. You have, an, you have another option, Scorpio. <clears throat> and when there's an emotional disconnect between two people, I do not know why for sure the emotional disconnect is there. You do. I'd be curious what that is. But whatever it is, is put a strain on the sexual energy. Or it could be vice versa. A lack of sexual contact, a lack of, lack of in, in, intimacy leads to emotional discontentment, emotional disconnection, and a falling apart of the relationship. But I see you bartering with this person. And you're saying, this is what I need you to do. You need to step up to the plate, sweetheart, and this is what I need. If you can't meet my needs, you don't have a problem with disconnecting with them and going with somebody else. Okay. I am going to leave your reading there. I hope you got something out of this. Comment below. And I will see you next time. Love and light, blessed be.